Ah, Shard of Eden. Oh my god. This guy is fucking... Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna be careful with this guy. This guy being a bitch. I guess I'm used to them only having to be able to shoot single shots at me. Gotcha. Stop that. No looting? Man, the shot at Eden blocked like one of those bullets. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it just makes sense that we really haven't picked it up yet because we are in the future. But who knows? Can I go through this now? The hell am I supposed to be going? Ah. Give me the apple. This guy. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Inya is still stuck, Robota. Yet, get out. The hell? What the hell was that? Is he indoctrinated or something? Get you, asshole. Get out! Get out! Get out! So I'm going enough through. Is enough, Mr. Miles. I invited you here in the spirit of cooperation, but you responded to my hospitality with only. I had hoped we might preserve it, and further study your method. But you're not worth it. Not worth the trouble. Feel so hated. I hereby authorize you to this. Kill the bastard, and then bring me the apple. Is that a gun? Oh yeah, it is. Vidic's office is up ahead. I hope he didn't you bring the apple with him. <laughs> OP. Unlimited ammo. Showdown. Dad? 
Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! Right! Man, that's awesome. never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. Get pooped on, Vidic. <laughs> he got wrecked by the apple. <laughs> Yep, I am all about his man. Bitches. Bitch, please. Been crushed. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get hit in the back of the head right now, though? Get to the car! We the next power source too, that'll come in handy. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Okay. Back here, right? We gotta make thing to make sure this thing's freaking fully powered before I jump back in there. Climb. Come on, dude! Don't mess with me. One more meeting with Juno. Plug her in. Plug it in, plug it in. Well, at least not too far. It's useful. And it's not in an obscure spot like they were the last time. I know where to go now. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I guess the bridge is ready for whenever we ever pop this thing open. 
Okay. Let's talk to Daddy. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. I sad now. Lucy. Hey Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved, it's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Okay, back in we go. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation. And through it, peace. Sequence 11. Connor, he's asking for you. Oh no. Sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. 
The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. <laughs> 